Hello everybody and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats traveling to take on the 3-0 Bryant Bulldogs. The Wildcats are 1-2 on the season. They're not doing so hot. This is an ACC matchup. The Wildcats do have some pretty good players on their squad. The quarterback has an 80 overall, a fullback with an 80 overall, and two pretty solid cornerbacks. Their halfback's not bad at all either with a 76 overall and an 85 speed. They got a good right tackle, Irvin. But after these six players, the team kind of starts to decline just a bit. As you can see there, a bunch of 59 overalls. But we're going to get right into this game. This is the first game of our doubleheader. You will see Savannah State uh, taking on Hampton later on. I'll see you guys down on the field. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats and the Bulldogs. It's still early in the season, but these two ACC teams are ready to go. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are pretty confident coming into this one, Kirk. It really doesn't appear to be much of a contest. The home team has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow. Nice pick. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. Now that looks good on you, Lee. Anyway, let's send it down to the field. Well, the guys are predicting a blowout today. I had the prediction a little bit closer, and there's a nice hit by the safety to draw the ball loose on third and long. And third and eight for Bryant here over the middle. LJ Topher for the first down. But I predicted this game would be 31-17. The Bulldogs are going to win it. And here is Brandon Allen running straight through a cornerback, breaking another tackle, getting pushed, stays up, and gets down to the 20-yard line and tack on 15 yards for a personal foul. And Allen's going to punch it in here. It was very close. But he got it over the pylon or over the goal line. Whatever. Allen on the carry, Coleman with a nice tackle, and Bethune-Cookman is struggling on offense early on today, and they're struggling to stop the ground game as well. Now the Bulldogs came into this game with the third ranked rushing attack in the country, averaging 304 yards per game, and here's a nice completion to Snoopy Tucker inside the 30 out of bounds at the 22 yard line. Another uh, good throw from Montanez, he's been okay this season, he has more interceptions than touchdowns. And there's a nice first down for L.J. Topher, but Noah Montanus, 500 plus yards this season to go along with six interceptions, and he gets sacked right here. Nice play by the left end, makes it third and seven, but Brandon Allen following his blockers gets it up to the one yard line. He is 10th in the country with over 500 rushing yards, and he has nine total touchdowns this season. As Noel Montanus gets a rushing touchdown here, his second on the year, and that'll give Bryant a 14-0 lead. Bethune Cookman gets a great run here, and Divine Adams gets stiff armed by a small halfback. Shame on you, young man. Roberts over the middle, and that bounced off of Bishop's back, and he spun around and caught it. That was pretty sweet. Third and eight. Roberts taking a shot left side, caught by Bishop once again for another first down. A passing attack doing quite well for the Wildcats on this drive. But Roberts almost sacked there, and that should have been picked off by Summers. He never jumped for it. Fourth and 11. Their kicker's not very good. They're going to go for it, and they're going to pick it up with Murphy, who beats Tadian Moss, the subscriber cornerback. Play action. Roberts sacked. And that, my friends, is Reuben Blueberry. That is his third sack on the season. He also has seven tackles, three for a loss, and what a hit by Tatum yet again today. Blueberry also has a fumble recovery on the year. And there is a nice play by the defensive tackle to make it fourth down. Wildcats send on the field goal unit, and that kick is through the uprights. They hit the scoreboard 14 to 3. But the Bulldogs back on offense. LJ Topher makes a nice catch. Jukes a man out. He's in the open field, and he's going to accelerate into the end zone for a Bulldog touchdown. Bryant up 21 to 3 now, and what a fantastic run after the catch for LJ Topher. End around here for Thomas. And this is a great run, getting a huge chunk of yardage and a first down. Thomas with 37 yards on four carries. And give him nine more. Summers with the tackle. Thomas, right side. 
and he'll get a first down. Summers with another tackle. He came into the game with 21 tackles, 11 for a loss, one sack, one pick, one fumble recovery, and a pancake, as we just saw a nice deflection from Tadian Moss, and that pass is not even close. It just bounces off the back of his helmet on fourth down, so the Bulldogs get the ball again, and Montanez, with 30 seconds to go, is going to get 10 yards on a quarterback keeper. And an Allen halfback off tackle from the shotgun. Jukes in the open field. And Brandon Allen is off to the races and gone. Touchdown, Bryant Bulldogs. The crowd here in Smithfield, Rhode Island is going crazy. It's 28-3. The fans are going bananas. Roberts hit as he throws it, and it's caught by Murphy on the last play of the half. So they are going to go into the half with a 28-3 lead. The Bulldogs, that is. Looking for their fourth straight win. And Montanez going deep, right side caught by McCoy inside the 30-yard line. And that is a great way to start the second half. Here's Brandon Allen again, left side, jukes to the outside, and he's gone again, high-stepping his way to the corner. These running backs are just phenomenal. What a great pair. And Roberts is sacked again by Reuben Blueberry, his fourth on the season now. Roberts, left side, and that is deflected a couple times and incomplete. So Bryant is going to get the ball back again. Here is A.J. Jordan. He'll pick up nine yards. Both running backs came into the game with 400-plus rushing yards and 14 rushing touchdowns combined. And here's Jordan again, this time getting past midfield. Montanez on the read option. He'll get it to the 40-yard line. He's doing pretty well today running the football. And Jordan's going to get another third down conversion here inside the 30, the 20, and down to the 19-yard line, tack on a personal foul face mask. And that pass is intercepted. That was intended for Snoopy Tucker. Bounced around a couple times off of some defensive backs. Let's take another look. He had him, but Tucker just kind of floated to the back of the end zone there. Thomas crushed in the backfield. Cy Summers, his 25th tackle in four games. So the Bulldogs get the ball again. Trying to get the passing game going here. They do have a lot of stuff they have to correct in the passing attack, but Montanez is going to take off here and get to the 41-yard line. They definitely have to work on their timing with the quarterback and receivers because, you know, obviously the ground game is, is unstoppable at this point in the season. And here is Jordan wide open on the right side, inside the 20, the 15, 10, 5, down to the one-yard line. That would have been its first career receiving touchdown. It was so close. But they do give it to him again here. He punches it in on the ground. Bulldogs coasting right now. 42-3, to and Cy Summers with a monstrous hit. My goodness, he's been doing this all season long. That's not even fair. Absolutely pummeled him. Third and nine for Bethune-Cookman. Roberts rolling out right side. He's going to chuck it back to the left side, and it's picked off by Tadian Moss. Overthrew his target by just a little bit. There was a drop frame there, so you guys might not have saw it, but here you go. Man, Roberts has a cannon for an arm. Just overthrew him by just a little bit. Second and six for Bryant. Montanez is picked off by Hicks, the defensive tackle, and he'll get it back to the six-yard line. They wanted to set up a screen there, and that clearly did not work. First and goal from the six-yard line. Roberts over the middle to Thomas. He'll get it in the end zone for the touchdown. And, you know, uh, there was Stephon Okafor that hit the quarterback. We haven't really seen him today. But he started off today's game with 15 tackles, five for a loss, one pass deflection, and a safety on the season. And here's LJ Topher trucking through the safety for the touchdown. Very impressive run after the catch. And great block right there to save Montanez from getting sacked. And that safety didn't stand a chance. And the Bulldogs will end up getting the ball back here. Montanez taking a deep shot downfield. Caught by LJ Topher inside the 15-yard line as they continue to try to work on their timing. Less than two minutes to go. Montanez, a fake fullback dive, halfback toss, and Jordan walks into the end zone, just showboating a little bit. And this score is getting really ridiculous. 56 to 10 is the final. Bulldogs improved to 4-0. Wildcats drop to 1-3 on the season. Another ACC win for Bryant. That is their third on the year. They beat Howard and Morgan State. So the Bryant Bulldogs are coasting through the ACC 
and as are the Savannah State Tigers, who you guys will see in our second game tonight of our doubleheader. Very dominant performance today. Bethune-Cookman on her uh, 200 yards of offense. The passing attack got going for Bryant, 298, 296 rushing, 6 for 6 on third downs. Uh, they were just playing lights out in all facets of the game. A couple interceptions, but everybody knows Montanez is the most accurate quarterback in the world. 21 points in the fourth quarter. Montanez, 12 of 19, a pretty good day for accuracy for him, actually. The one interception, well, both interceptions really were just bad luck. Allen, 175 yards, three touchdowns. Jordan with 95 and two touchdowns. Four broken tackles for Brandon Allen. LJ Topher, a buck 82, receiving with two scores. And Snoopy Tucker, two catches, 40 yards. AJ Jordan had 29 yards receiving. One drop today for the receiving core. Kenneth Harrington, 10 pancakes, no sacks allowed. LJ Topher with three pancakes. AJ Jordan with two. Brandon Allen with one. Halfbacks putting in some work today. Ruben Blueberry led the team in tackles with eight. He had three for loss, two sacks. Tady and Moss had six tackles. Cy Summers with five, one for a loss. Divine Adams, three tackles, all for a loss. Stephon Okafor, only one tackle today, and it was for a loss. So we were having a lot of success getting into the backfield, disrupting plays, hitting the quarterback on almost every throw. Tady and Moss, of course, had the interception today. Three pass deflections. And no forced fumbles or anything like that. No kicks. And not a whole lot in the return game. It was basically the defense just being dominant. And the offense just churning the whole game. Just running the clock out with a lot of good runs. Some great passes downfield. Our next Brian Bulldog matchup. They will be traveling to William and Mary. And that will be week five, game one. That'll be, yeah, that will be the first game for week five. So that'll be a fun one. Our next game will be out later on tonight. I don't know when, but most of the games this week are going to be later games because I'm trying to get them all done for you guys this week. But I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.